war, peace, and civic versus ecclesiastical authority are the main ideas in Leviathan. Thomas Hobbes postulates that man, born into a natural state outside of human society, would be in a state of perpetual war or competition. Living in such a state would be terrifying, and life itself would be constantly at risk of being cut short. Without societal laws, there would be no limit to personal freedoms, but there could also be no right or wrong, meaning there would exist no safety from the actions of others acting in their own self-interest. It's critical to Hobbes' argument that this idea of the natural man is clearly established so we can understand the beneficial imperative of creating the artificial social contract. Yet as natural as man's warring nature is, it's also natural for human beings to desire peace. People, being rational, agree to give up some of their natural freedoms in order to avoid the horrors of violent competition, establishing a social contract that's mutually agreed upon by all members of that society. Only by giving up some freedoms and agreeing to abide by reason-based laws of a social contract can people be guaranteed a meaningful life and the possibility of a culture. Finally, ecclesiastical authority, the authority of the church, must, according to Hobbes, be subordinate to civic authority, the authority of a sovereign state, in order to prevent civil wars based on differing interpretations of religious writings. As a person cannot serve two masters, the sovereign of the commonwealth is the only authority to which subjects must be absolutely obedient.